everybody and welcome to today's video it's gonna be a little bit different than my normal DIYs because it's gonna be a DIY with food and um, yeah I've already tried this once and it didn't work out so I'm trying it again and I hope it works out because this video is part of a collaboration it's called Easter around the world and I'm joining a ton of other awesome creators and um, they're gonna be making lots of fun stuff too. I don't know if they're gonna make anything food, but I thought, you know, let's do something a little bit different. And I saw this super cute idea online, this little rabbit. And again, if you watch me on Instagram, you know that I've already tried this and the, the one rabbit that I made, little bunny made, that's kind of how you look like. So I'm <laughs> hoping for better results today. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met, and my name is Lisa, and this is our gray house. But a couple of things that I am doing differently. So last time, I'm using, by the way, I'm using vanilla candy coating, not uh, vanilla bark or anything like that. Um, I don't know what the difference is, and it doesn't matter to me because I think this is going to work just fine. And that's not why the, the reason why I messed up but um, we'll get to that in a second. And I'm using these little Schneiders, um, Schneiders, I guess it's not Schneider, there's no CH in there. Anyway, Schneiders little mini pretzels. And then I found some rolled gold, which is actually my personal favorite, um, a little bit bigger size. So hopefully I'm gonna try both sizes just to see if there's a difference, see if that matters, I don't know. But one of the problems that I had when I was making it the last time was the fact that the um, I could not get the vanilla stuff. You're supposed to get it in here, but not all like all over it, and I couldn't control it as much. So I bought this little writing tube from Hobby Lobby. I could have ordered one on Amazon, but I thought no, this should work just fine. We'll see if it does. Um, it does say it's micro microwave safe and dishwasher safe, but it's not like. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this. I don't know if this is gonna work, y'all, because like the hole seems just a little too fine, you know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll work just fine. But I'm also gonna use this to try to control how much is coming out. And then I thought I could also get a plastic Ziploc bag and put in frosting. Like you know how you do frosting. Well, I don't do frosting that way, but you like making a piping bag. So I thought about that. And I guess if I thought about it ahead of time, I could have just bought a piping bag from Dollar Tree. But I didn't think about that ahead of time. So here we are. So what I'm doing right now is I'm laying out, I have a piece of parchment paper right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay these out so that way when the chocolate's ready, the candy coating's ready, I could just start to make them without having, oh, it's broken, um, without having to like stop what I'm doing, okay? And I'm only making a few right now just because of time. Uh, constraints so oh that one's kind of wonky shaped uh, all right now you take out this um, bark chocolate it's not bark chocolate candy coating see that's not gonna fit in there you know what I'm saying Maybe I can try to Try to uh, put a little bit in there. I don't know. <laughs> I've never had a cooking show before, so I'm not really used to people kind of watching me. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to microwave this, and I'll just have to watch it and see how it goes. Maybe it'll work out like fabulously. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, this worked out so good. Or it could be another fail. And that's fine too. Because you live and you learn. Uh, is that a Taylor Swift song? I don't know. Maybe there's an easier way to pop this up. I don't know that either. I think that's enough. Okay. I'm going to try to microwave this and see what happens. And I'm just gonna start at it like 10 seconds, just to kind of see what happens, you know? Um, I, don't want, 
I don't want, I want the chocolate, to, the candy cutting stuff to melt, but I don't want the bottle to melt. You know what I mean? And I don't want to, it to explode in there. It did hardly any melting. Probably gonna have to go longer. I put it on for 30 seconds, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I guess I could do like exercises while it's, you know, heating up or something. No. Why, why start now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's been in for 30 seconds and I honestly don't think it's melted at all. So I'm gonna put it in for another 30 seconds. We'll see how it does. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with some more of the candy coating to see if we can't, you know, make good use of our time. Because worst case scenario, I could just pour this into that, that thing of there. You know what I'm saying? Which may be the better idea anyway. Okay, it is melting just slightly, but you know, I don't know. Let's see how this works. Okay. This one was in for a minute. And it was a lot more, so um, it softened up quite a bit. Maybe I need to try to stir, <laughs> stir the one that's in that bottle. Well, it's okay. So it has melted it, but I mean, it's not really coming out, so. What I may have to do is like fill this up all the way. Let me see. Okay, I think this is gonna work. What I'm gonna do, or what I've done is, I've melted the chocolate. It's pretty, pretty melted, melted soupy. And I'm gonna try to carefully put it in here. Okay, I have most of the chocolate in there. In here, <laughs> in here now. I'm making a mess, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm trying to be neat about this. Okay. Okay, I moved this closer so you can hopefully see a little bit better. I've got the candy bark coating in here, and then I'm gonna fill up each, what you wanna do is fill up each little section, but not cover this part. That's where, one of the things I messed up on last time. Oh, that's got some on there already. Okay, I'm gonna another one. Now this is gonna take forever. I've cut a bigger hole because that was gonna take forever. I mean, you know. I don't think this is gonna turn out. What I'm gonna to try to do <laughs> is um, smooth it down a little bit, okay. I've got writing gel in pink and in black, and we're gonna use the pink. This is kind of where it started to mess up last time. Okay, make sure we got it. You're gonna put a line right here for the ear. Now, and a little pink dot for the nose. I'm gonna do two dots for the eyes. Woo! So I've just got a little toothpick and I'm gonna put a little bit of the gel there because I'm gonna go like this. And then draw. Okay. 
I mean, does this look close enough to a bunny to you? Okay, I'm not gonna call this a total fail because using the um, squeeze tube was better, but I think I would have even more control if I just used like a plastic Ziploc bag or a piping bag or something like that. I think I'd have more control, but um, you you need a, a fine tip, but not like a super large tip either. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't just all come rushing out. The next thing, the gel stuff. The ears look better, but like, for example, the ears do look better, but um, can you see that? I feel like one of those makeup gurus. Focus. The, the ears do look better, but the whiskers, they're not, the whiskers are just not happening. So, so um, you know, I mean, it is what it is, right? I was thinking of making these for Easter. I thought, that looks fun. <laughs> that looks fun. I could make that for Easter because when they said, oh, we're gonna do around the world, East, Easter around the world thing again, I thought, you know, food is a common denominator for Easter, right? Or at least in my mind it is. Food is a common denominator. I love little snacky foods. I love little cute food like this and making fun food. So that's why I thought I'm, I'm gonna try to recreate that bunny, pretzel bunny thing. But I mean, they're still, they're still good. <laughs> because it's candy on a pretzel, a candy coated pretzel. I mean, who can go wrong with that? But not 100% success, so I think I'm gonna have to try it again. But let me know if you've tried anything like that. Um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I mentioned this before or not, but the playlist to Easter around the world is gonna be in the description box below. I hope you check it out because you know, all of these content creators work really hard to try to bring you guys inspiration, um, some Easter inspiration, and I think you'll enjoy their videos. So please click on the playlist, give them a thumbs up, like the videos, um, comment, subscribe, all the things. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'd love it. I really would. I'd love it. <laughs> maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try this one again. I've got some other fun food DIYs that I want to try. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing them. And some of the ones that I have in my mind, I've already done before. So I know they work. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're having an awesome day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though. Because that's creepy.